guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions. We are up to week number 206, would you believe? So for those people who don't watch my channel, we have done 100 weeks of mass making videos, mass making all different types of pockets and bits and pieces for your junk journals. We then, <coughs> oh, excuse me, we then did another 100 weeks um, doing reruns of the first 100 weeks. We had a 10 week kind of special um, section where we did 10, you know, new, new uh, mass make items. And we are now doing a third lot of reruns. So if you are wanting to make along with me today, what are we making? We are making side loading pockets. So what will you need? You will need some paper now. I have bought along printables, and I say this nearly every week, I have bought along printables because that's what I mainly have. You do not have to use printables, you can use, you know, whatever paper that you like. Um, I just am, you know, I have mainly printables. But, I mean, you could, for example, make with sheet music, which I've just bought. I thought I had some here, but actually I can't see any. You could make with sheet music, you could make with book page, you know, anything that you like. You could make with scrapbook paper. My only kind of caveat to that would be I wouldn't make with too thicker scrapbook paper. So, I mean, I've got some here beside me. You know, this is probably kind of thickish scrapbook paper. I probably wouldn't make with this. I would tend to use that thinner sort of cheaper quality scrapbook paper. My printables here, they are 120 GSM, I think it is, 120 um, GSM. So they're much thicker than copy paper but they're not as thick as kind of a card or anything like that. Um, I have got a sheet of book page, actually, which we could kind of make one here with book page. It's a little bit torn, but I don't think that will matter too much. This is quite flimsy book page, but I think it will still work. So, you know, I'll just kind of do one to, to demonstrate that. So again, you could use book page. Now, these are all obviously, you know, A4 sheets, and this is also quite a big book page. You don't have to use big pages. If you wanted to use smaller sheets of paper, then obviously you're just going to end up with smaller pockets, but that would be fine too. Um, equally, if you're using scrapbook paper, you're going to want to cut it rectangular. I don't measure, so I would kind of say whatever size rectangle that suits you. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want kind of shorter than the page, I would I would make shorter rectangles. Um, you know, you'll get the sort of idea once we kind of start making. Aside from your paper, you're going to need um, some scissors. Now, the scissors really are just for trimming down little tiny bits that are perhaps hanging off. Or like, for example, here, I'm going to have to trim the edges down. You're going to need um, either your scissor handles or a bone folder. So I will just be using my scissor handles. You're going to need some glue. Now, I always use the Anita's Tacky Glue for gluing down paper type items. Um, but again, use whichever glue that you like to use best. You do not have to glue these. You could stitch them. I try and avoid stitching really in mass making because I try and make them, you know, everything that we make sort of as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. But it's again, it's, you know, completely up to you. I've got just an old sort of card that I like to use as a glue spreader. Again, that's, you know, that's optional or, you know, use what you like to use as your glue spreader. And then I always use like a dried wet wipe, you know, dried baby wipe, just for getting any bits of glue off of the paper and things like that. Aside from that, you might like to have your Distress ink. Mine is a Distress Oxide. It's walnut stain. I tend to just kind of flick between um, walnut stain and vintage photo, whatever I grab first from my pile. Um, again, that's optional. You may want to coffee stain your paper. Again, that's optional. And then if you like to decorate your pieces, then you might want to have some lace and bits and bobs to decorate. But we will just be decorating just the one because it's all about just the making the volume of the blank pockets, really. So let's have a look and see how we make these. Now, these are probably one of the easiest papers. Um, hey, papers? No, nope. they're one of the easiest pockets that you can make for your junk journals. But... They're one of my favourites. Well, I mean, maybe they're one of my favourites because they're one of the easiest. But yeah, they're just one of those go-to pockets. They always look brilliant. And yeah, I just absolutely love them. So I'm going to take my sheet of paper. Now, the beauty of these, they do not have to be double-sided paper. So this is a single-sided paper because you're not going to see the inside of it at all. Now, I'm going to turn it over. Again, I do not measure. So if you do measure, 
um, then kind of do your first one, get it to a point where you're happy with with it, and then score your you know your pages where you where you have found works best. I don't um, you know measure, so I'm just going to kind of judge by eye. So I'm just going to take my paper, fold it over. Now I think that's probably like a quarter a quarter of the way in. And then what I'm going to do, this side is going to either come over here or that way, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is just take my other side in like that. Now, again, I don't measure, so this is hard to describe, but this is probably a quarter. This is probably like fractionally more than a quarter, maybe like a, a fifth. Um, would that be right? No, that would be wrong, wouldn't it? It would be the other way. So like a third, but it's not a third, if you see what I mean. But it's just fractionally bigger than the quarter, if you can see that. But again, this really is not essential. You know, you're going to kind of gauge this. And of course, they don't all have to be identical sizes. But you're just going to take that in like that and then just, you know, squish it down. And then this just comes literally over the top of your pocket like that. So the beauty of these is obviously, you know, you've thickened the paper by your, you know, the folding. So durability wise, that's kind of made them nice and sturdy. Hence, you don't need too thick a paper. Now, I have not made a very good job of folding this so already. I've, yeah, matched up. I'm not sure where I've gone wrong, but somehow this is not very straight. So I think it's, I think it's that piece. Right. So again, just fold it back in like that now at this point you don't have to have these full height you could trim these down this obviously if i was making a journal and it was you know a4 pages this would be the full height of the page personally i quite like that i think that's quite a nice pocket but if you wanted to trim them down you could and obviously you could trim these down however much you like so i'm just going to do this just to kind of you know for demonstration kind of purposes i'm going to cut it down Again, probably a quarter-ish, you know, give or take, a quarter off of the top, like that. I have not made a very good job of cutting that, so, oh my goodness, my cutting is, oh, way out again. Seems to be a common theme at the moment. Um, so that's it, and then you're going to open your pocket back out, take your glue, okay, and then just glue around now you're going to want to glue obviously kind of close to the edge there so that you know yeah it's clamped shut on the edge you could bit, put a bit of glue here like that press that down get your glue spreader spread your glue like that okie dokie like that and then just this one again quite close to the edges like that and then just a bit more glue. Again, get your glue spreader. Spread the glue like that. Okie dokie. And wipe the table. Okay. And then that comes over there like that. Okay. So then you're going to take your glue and you're just going to glue down along here like that. So, you know, they really are you know, probably one of the simplest pockets that you could possibly make. But they give you an incredible amount of storage because this is a very roomy pocket in here. And of course, when you glue this down, you could glue it on three sides and then you'd have a pocket here or, or this side, which, you know, whichever way you glued it and this big roomy pocket here. So they're really nice. And what else is quite nice? You've got quite a big surface to be able to decorate um you know put in like i don't know a cluster or something like that on there so they're really a nice pocket aren't they and obviously you know if you've just got any that doesn't line up that's where your scissors come in and you can just you know just trim it down slightly like that okay that's all there is to those so i will just demonstrate one more so that you know it's really nice and um straightforward so i'm going to take this sheet which of course is that um sheet of book page which has got the the tear in it oh sorry i do um forget sometimes to let you know the papers i'm using so this is from my large birdhouse um papers so that's the paper that that is okay right this one so we're going to take this sheet in again kind of a, like a quarter ish like that okay again this side 
going in sort of roughly a quarter. Now, obviously, depending which way we want to take this in will depend, you know, where you glue this to, if you see what I mean. So, you know, maybe I want to take this in slightly more and this side slightly less because I love these, you know, these crests and sort of decorative font type areas. And then we can take that over. Now I've got it too far. So, I mean, again, they're pretty forgiving, so don't worry too much if you've, you know, folded it in too too much or not enough. You can just adjust it when you come to come to glue it together. Now, can you see here, this is what's happened. My paper where it's obviously, you know, torn. So what I'm going to do is just fold that in here at the rough size. So when I fold now my pocket down, so that's folding in here. I'm going to just take it, just take it here like this. Oh got this horrible feeling that I've glued this the wrong way round. I'm not going to be able to um, fix this torn bit of book page very well, but that's fine. We can still do, you know, do something with that. So like that, and then this one, taking that down there. Okay, like that. And then this will come in like that. Now, you can see here, this is my torn piece of book page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pocket down, sort of like this. That's got rid of a huge, you know, huge chunk of that torn section anyway. I could even take it down further, which would get rid of actually all of it. So let's do that. Okay, oops, oh my goodness. Oh, shoddy, shoddy cutting. Yeah, it's probably coming to the point where you guys think, why does she not just use a paper trimmer like normal people? Oh, I just can't get on with them. I find them really big and really like cumbersome and yeah, not great. So then we just take along the edges like we did with the first one and fold that in. Now, actually, just before I glue that down, I'm just going to ink along this inner edge. And the only reason I'm doing it is because obviously it's going to be a bit difficult to get to once it's all oops once it's all glued down so just go along there my fault really I should have um thought to ink it first before putting the glue on but you know never mind it's fine there we go like that I mean isn't that gorgeous beautiful beautiful bit page isn't it I do have some bit page bundles in my um shop on my website at the moment I don't know whether I've got any of these beautiful catalogue pages but I definitely you know they definitely have been in my book page bundles I can't guarantee that there's any any left at the moment but yeah I do try and include some catalogue pages if at all possible so that pocket there isn't that just so lovely and then you know if you wanted to do some different versions or you know different looks and things like that then of course you could round your corners like that you could just round like two you could round all of them you know just play around so that you've got some different looks. So they're super lovely pockets, aren't they? So all I'm going to do is like mass make now, um, assembly line style. So for those people who, you know, are new to mass making, what I mean by that is doing all of my stages at the same time. So for example, all of my folds at the same time, all of my gluing, all of my trimming, um, you know, all at the same time, because that's a really nice, quick and efficient way to do it. So I will try and remember, like I say, to let you know which papers I'm using, um, you know, and yeah, let's just relax now, have a nice time and yeah, just enjoy ourselves for the next, um, you know, hour or so to, uh, yeah, just have a hopefully productive, productive time making a bunch of things for our junk journals. So this is from my perfume collection papers. I think it's from the um, pale, you know, the light colour. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Sorry. This is from my documents collection papers. Um, yeah, from the documents collection papers, but aren't they just so pretty? So, yeah. Okey so it's just a case of deciding really which way round you want these, you know, which bits you want showing and which bits you don't really. So, like that. Okay. So, that one. 
This is from my Rich Damas collection. So I hope everybody's day has started, or week, week has started out well. For those guys who watch my channel, you will know that I generally film these videos on a Monday to go up for you on the Tuesday. So it's such a beautiful day today. Now I have to be honest, when I went to the gym this morning, it was 1.5, 1.5 degrees. It was pretty cold, but it's weird because yesterday it got up to 13 and a half, although strangely it felt pretty chilly. Um, yeah, it's just like all over the place, the weather at the moment. It's just really, really weird. But that being said, although it did start out at 1.5, I mean, I haven't been out since it's got to be said, um, you know, since I got back first thing, but I feel pretty chilly. The house has gone quite cold now, but it's such a beautiful, bright day. It's really gorgeous out there. So yeah, very, very nice out there. This is also from the Rich Damas Colours, uh, Colours, not Colours, Rich Damas Papers. Love this colour blue. So I mean, hopefully we're going to end up with a whole bunch of different, you know, different looking pockets, kind of lots in lots of different colours. And if you mass make um, along with me every week, you know, I would recommend trying to do a whole bunch of different colours, you know, as much as you possibly can. This is from my perfume collection. Um, I can't recall whether it's from the Brights or the... Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? The Brights or the, you know, the Pale, I'm afraid. But yeah, um, that's, that's what it's from. Yeah, I would recommend using a variety of papers wherever you possibly can. And the reason for that is because obviously, you know, when you come to then use your... Oops, I've done this a little bit. A little bit wrong. Can you see? This one is, yeah, really mucked up the measurements. But the reason why I did that was because I wanted to have a lot of that flower showing. So I'm going to just go over a bit more like that, okay? So, you know, they're pretty forgiving, aren't they? You can really kind of adjust your your folds, you know, on the fly. So, like that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's, yeah, from the um, perfume collection papers. They're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah, I would recommend using as many different colours and papers and things like that as you possibly can. Because when you come to then use these, you know, in your journals... The, you know, the idea is that you generally then have a lot of different things to pull from. Obviously, if you make them all from the same paper, you know, you may find that you don't have quite such a big variety. Of course, you know, completely up to you. If you don't really, you know, if you don't really want a big variety, then, you know, that's also your choice. Um, but if you're looking to do, you know, kind of cut down on your time and have a big selection, then I would sort of say try try and use a big selection of papers so you know different colors maybe i don't know different styles like florals and you know various different things so as you've got different things to be able to pull from because that's going to you know give you the biggest versatility when you come to use these and if i'm truthful that was also sorry the um perfume collection again the lights one this is from my um autumn blush uh, papers. The other thing that I would say is, to be honest, I do. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I do sometimes do like a mass decorating um, session, you know, where I just decorate up a bunch of mass made items and then I have them ready to pull from to make journals with. Or I leave then some, some decorated and some plain so that again, if I want to then, you know, use a specific thing, I can then decorate it to really coordinate and match my project. So, you know, I'd recommend kind of, yeah, having a, a variety of the two, the two things really. So this is my clocks collection papers there. Okie dokie. Aren't they gorgeous? Really love these papers, I have to say. Yeah, really, really do love these colours and things. Really pretty, aren't they? So I hope that everybody had a lovely weekend and a lovely week last week since our um, mass making last week. This is also the clocks collection papers. 
Um, I'd like to just say thank you to everybody who's been watching my uh, Valentine's, you know, Crafty Love um, series. So, and yeah, thank you so much to anyone who's placed an order, you know, whilst watching that series or, or even not watching that series. Yeah, just thank you so much if you've placed any orders. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope that you're enjoying the series. I have to apologise. Oh my goodness, my videos have been so long in that series and I just, I'm so sorry, is all I can say. I mean, they're literally, they're like film lengths per video. So I really apologise. I don't know what was going on, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I didn't intend for them to be so long, but somehow they have just, you know, gone, yeah, gone like feature length, movie length. Um, I had a lot of interruptions through most of the videos. Uh, I have to confess, I still have to film the last video. I've got the idea in my head of what I'm doing for the last video, but I haven't filmed it yet. So I'm taking it right to the wire and, um, what's that expression? Yeah, cutting, cutting it close to the wire. Um, but yeah, I will do that uh, probably tomorrow. I will film that or maybe later today if I get a chance, but it is half term. Um, so I might not, you know, might not necessarily get a chance today um but yeah i can only apologize i don't know what was going on why my videos have turned out so long the only excuse is like i say i got interrupted a lot of times because there was a lot of stuff going on last week and when you get interrupted you know i don't always then go back and see how long i've been filming for and so this was the clocks collection as well just in case you were wondering uh this is obviously from the valentine's collection and so is well so are both of these actually so yeah i'm going to just make a couple from these so we've been using these a lot in the, you know, the uh, series that we've been doing. Um, yeah, and so I don't always go back and see how long I've been filming for. So all I can do is apologise because many of those videos are now like an hour and a half long, which is so long for a video. So, yeah, I'm so, so sorry. Um, you know, I really do apologise. I mean, I just hope that actually... You know, sometimes if you're in the zone and you're crafting, I mean, sometimes it's nice to have a really long video to just stick on and it just plays away in the background. So, you know, maybe, maybe that will work out OK. But I do apologise because um, I know not everybody really appreciates long videos and an hour and a half. Let's let's be truthful. That's pretty long by anyone's standards, isn't it? So, yeah, I really am sorry. I just, you know, I had no clue really when... Um, when I was doing the filming, you know, I didn't realise quite how long they were. And then I always do find it very tricky when I edit because, um, again, the Valentine's papers and so is this one. I find it very tricky when editing because, you know, where I'm chatting, if I then edit the video and take chunks out, then my conversation is all disjointed. So, you know, I find it hard to just then cut chunks out and... Yeah, I mean, hats off to anyone else who does videos and they're really clever and able to, you know, take bits out. I don't know how you do it because definitely I, yeah, I can't seem to just cut bits out. They, you know, end up really like random chat going on. So, yeah, anyway, so I do apologise. We now just have incredibly long videos. So, really, really sorry. These are my Roses collection um, papers. So we'll just do one or two in this as well. Okay, okay. But yeah, I've had a really nice time actually doing the Valentine series. I mean, I've said several times in, you know, in the series. I mean, I don't really celebrate Valentine's as a as a holiday or a day or anything else, you know. Um, but hopefully the pieces that we've been making, they're not, you know, they're not necessarily strictly Valentine's. They're just they have a girly, lovey kind of theme. This is also the uh, Roses Collection papers, so I'm just going to make one, I think, from this one. Yeah, uh, actually, from this one, I think. Um, yeah, they just have a kind of generally girly kind of theme and, um, you know, sort of a love-type vibe going on. So, yeah, I think they're pretty much suitable for all times. I don't think they're, you know, they're strictly Valentine-only things that we've been making so yeah hopefully you guys have been um enjoying it so and i do appreciate everyone who's taken the time to comment because 
again I struggle to ask everyone to comment on videos and I just always feel really awkward but it really does make a massive difference you know or even just giving a thumbs up um you know because obviously YouTube then deem that as then all oh, people have enjoyed this video it's worth you know worth recommending this to other people um so yeah I do really appreciate it and obviously I do read through the comments I don't always um you know uh, take time to comment to the comments because obviously there's a lot of comments on there um and I'm very <laughs> very chatty in case you hadn't noticed bit of a chatterbox so what happens is well what happens quite often actually I'm just going to um oh we will do this one yeah we might as well do one more um what happens is I'm a bit of a chatterbox and so I read comments and I think oh, there's there's loads of things I need to join in the chat with you know with this comment and I save it thinking oh, I'll reply to that when I've got you know more time and I can properly reply in detail and of course then you know I don't really get time to reply and so then I, you know I don't reply kind of you know in person if that makes sense so um yeah, but I do read them and I love, love everybody's um, comments because it really makes you feel like you know one another, you know, and our community is so incredible, isn't it? So, yeah, we're very, very lucky. Right, now, I'm going to go in and glue them down and maybe trim them down. So, I don't want them necessarily all, um, you know, really tall pockets. So, I might just trim a few down so that I've got a variety. So, we'll just go through... We'll keep some tall and some, you know, some small. So, oops, I don't know what that was that just dropped down there. But, yeah, something, something dropped down. Oh, my goodness. Terrible cutting again. Yeah, I'm not kind of, um, you know, paying much attention as to what pockets I'm cutting and which ones I'm leaving. But just so that we've got a variety. Now, obviously... Like this one, I've not made a good job of cutting. I can tidy that up. Once it's glued together, it will be holding together a lot better and then it will be easier to actually, you know, to cut it. So, but I'll just get the rough, the rough cuts going on, I think. So, like that. So what have I been up to all week? I'm trying to think if I've been to the cinema. I did go to the cinema last week. We watched that film called Argyle. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the mass making um, session last week and said that we were going to try and go and see it um, and it was filmed by that person who did Kingsman so uh, the Kingsman film which was um, oh gosh actually a really long time ago now if I'm truthful it must have been I don't know maybe even like 10 years ago a long time ago anyway so um, it's by the same person who did that and I loved that Kingsman film it was really 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 well done um, so it's by the same person who did that can't remember the girl's name who is the actress in it but she was the actress who's in Jurassic Park the Jurassic Park movies um like the later ones so yeah I think she's a British accent uh, not accent a British actress I think I've seen her on like the Graham Norton show before and just thought she seemed so lovely um so she's the actress in it yeah I really like her she's very watchful um it was pretty good yeah pretty good <laughs> what was so good in it though she's got a cat the um the person in it she's got a cat and throughout pretty much the whole film she's got this cat in this she calls it i think a cat sack cat sack yeah i think a cat sack and it's a rucksack with like a little window for her cat's face and it's got like some air holes you know for it to be able to breathe and things now, i don't know whether they're a real thing um yeah I don't know do you know if you know if they're a real thing or not please comment below because oh my goodness that cat looked so cute it was kind of like it was peeking out of a little sort of porter port not porter hole port porthole um oh my goodness it was so cute so yeah it's like oh I would so love to have one of those for um Bo so, I mean, to be honest, she obviously, she'd probably be too big to even go in one. And she would hate it in there. She'd be kind of crying and things, I think. Unless she would feel, you know, maybe she would kind of feel my body warmth and, you know, quite like it. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I mean, she probably wouldn't even fit in one. But, oh, my goodness. So cute, honestly. You know, um, I went with my son and we were kind of like 
oh my goodness look at how cute that cat looks in the bag so yeah i must google if they are a real thing those bags very 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 cute but yeah it was good film anyway don't think i've seen anything else worth talking about um yeah nothing else to be honest it's rubbish isn't it to be honest suddenly couldn't remember which way around this was going um yeah i haven't really watched anything else worth talking about as i say it's half term this week so my daughter's home from school i mean what on earth it seems like she only went back to school the other day from christmas i don't know what's going on i hadn't even realized it was half term it's got to be said until somebody in the gym had said to me oh it's half term next week have you got anything planned and i thought didn't, I didn't want to admit it, but I thought, oh, you're kidding me. I didn't even know it was half term. Planned? No. <laughs> I'd have been taking her to school. Yeah, I mean, I've done that before on an inset day, but yeah, I haven't actually misjudged the half term. But yeah, it, hey, there's first for everything. It could have been today. So crazy. That would have been crazy. Took Bo down for a lovely walk on the beach at the weekend. Um, can't remember which day it was but anyway one of the days at the weekend it was lovely weather very very nice and so took her down to the beach had a lovely time she loves it on the beach and then obviously came back had to give her a little bath because she was all sandy and messy she's getting quite good to have a bath actually i mean she, you know we don't bath her that often maybe well if she goes to the beach we bath her every time she goes to the beach if she's not been to the beach it's maybe like once a month something like that that we bath her um but generally it perhaps ties in that we go to the beach approximately once a month so yeah she generally does kind of have her bath you know tied in with going to the beach but yeah she's pretty good to be honest i mean when i first started bathing her i, I put her in the kitchen sink she wasn't great you know she didn't really enjoy it i would say she has improved already which you know that's that's pretty good isn't it yeah i mean I, when i say already obviously you know she wasn't like a puppy when we got her or anything i mean she'll be four in may but yeah she didn't um you know she didn't enjoy baths at all i think really when we got her so yeah i think she's kind of come on quite well with her um you know being better in the bath so like i said i mean it's the sink really and you know i don't run the water into the sink like a bath i just we've got one of those taps that goes like a shower you know so it sprays um so you know i don't put the plug in or anything like that it's not like the the sink's filling up with water or anything i just kind of shower her really but yeah she doesn't mind it and oh my goodness she feels so lovely when she comes out of the bath so you know once she's dry she's all lovely and soft and silky so i love it when she has a bath and to be fair, I mean, it really doesn't take very long. It's like a couple of minutes. You know, she just kind of in there, soap her, wash her off and, and that's it. She's out. So it's not really kind of like a big faff to put her in there. But yeah, she does feel gorgeous when she comes out. So there we go. Probably bath her a bit more often in the summer. Um you know than in the winter but that's because she's generally going out for more walks i suppose so or you know we probably go to the beach more and things like that but yeah <clears throat> trying to think what else have i been up to not a lot to be honest not a lot not a lot it's just that time of year isn't it where you know we're just working really so there we go being um half turn this week so natalie posted out all of the orders from my <clears throat> my website at the end of last week so um yeah those were all kind of on their way now um i don't know really whether natalie will come and work with me this week to be honest because it's half term so uh we shall see but if she does i will try and do some sort of restock in my you know on my website I just need to, um, yeah, get some things made, really. So, yeah, it's um, just time permitting, really. So keep your eye out, you know, if you're if you're interested. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got a couple of jumpers on today and still feeling pretty chilly. So, um, yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously quite cold out there, even though it is bright and sunny. You know, you get lulled into a false sense of security, don't you? When it's when it's sunny. I mean, actually, to be honest, looking like out there from, you know, from my window at my desk, I mean, I can't see the ground. I can just see kind of like the roof, you know, the roof line and people's windows and things like opposite my house. But I mean, it proper looks like it could be summer. So it's one of those, you know, where you could be really fooled going out thinking it's going to be lovely and then get a really nasty shock. So. <clears throat> okay. okay. And the other thing that you could do with these pockets is you could put some sort of flap on them as well. So I will try and demonstrate that after we've glued all of these together. I will demonstrate what I'm talking about because um, I think that would kind of work quite well, to be honest. So let's just glue this one down. Now, let me see if I can see the time on the phone. No, I can't. Oh, it's so annoying because in the camera holder thing, you know, the clock is too far under and I can't really see to see how long I've been filming for. So, um, yeah, we might be in for an epic movie again. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm calling this an epic movie. They're not really epic, are they? But movie anyway. There we go. So, like I say, if you were glue uh, stitching these instead of gluing them... <clears throat> You probably could get away with literally, well, I'm just thinking, would you need to actually, yeah, I mean, to be honest, you could probably just get away with actually just stitching them straight around and not even gluing these these sections down at all. Um, yeah, I think you probably could get away with doing that. So they'd actually be incredibly quick to make on the sewing machine. Um like I say, I do realise not everybody's got a sewing machine. Not everybody wants to use their sewing machine with their paper, you know, and that's fine. Um, so that's why I try and avoid doing the sewing. And plus, you know, let's be truthful. It would be pretty dull video because you'd be just listening to my sewing machine. You know, there'd be no chit chat going on because it would just be sewing. So, yeah, it wouldn't be very fun, to be honest. But, yeah. Okay. okay. There we go. Oops, sorry. Just moved my mat out of the way. Okay. Like Of course, it is Valentine's Day on Wednesday, so do share below. I do have plans for Valentine's Day. Are you, you know, you've been taken somewhere nice? Are you maybe cooking a meal for somebody special? You know, or maybe just even yourself. Hey, you know, if you're single, maybe you're just cooking a nice meal for yourself. There's no reason why you couldn't just, you know, treat yourself to like a lovely movie. Maybe get yourself a lovely tub of ice cream. I think maybe that's what I might do is maybe just get myself a nice tub of ice cream. Although I do have that quite frequently, so it's not really a one-off. Um, but yeah, maybe just get myself a lovely tub of ice cream. Maybe put on some sort of nice romantic film. And um, yeah, maybe just enjoy my, my evening. Who knows? But yeah, do you generally go out for Valentine's Day? What do you guys do? I mean, everywhere is very expensive normally on Valentine's Day. Here in the UK, you know, they... Um, yeah, they rip you off a little bit. 
because obviously they you know they think oh it's valentine's day people are you know taking their loved ones out so they just you know rip you off and kind of con you you know they have like a set menu that's you know like twice the price of what typically you know similar food would be the day before or the day after so it's not really the um <laughs> the best idea to go out even on valentine's day if i'm truthful but you know obviously probably when i was younger i probably would have done okay what about pancake day does anybody know when that is i miss that every year i'm so rubbish honestly well a bit like the you know not even realizing it was half term i just am clueless as to everything so yeah suddenly someone will say to me oh you know it's pancake day like, oh you know, because I haven't got any things that I need for pancakes, you know, the, um, you know, the toppings and all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, maybe I've bought then something that we are going to be having for dinner instead that week, you know, so we end up not really having it. But if you have pancakes, do you have them as like pudding? Do you have them as your, your actual dinner? I mean, on those times when we have had pancakes, and that's another thing, actually, my pancakes are hit and miss, a bit like everything else that I cook. So I've gone through phases where I got quite good at making pancakes. But I have to say, <laughs> they're probably just in the minority of times. Um, but yeah, I had maybe a couple of years where I was like, oh, I'm pretty good at co cooking pancakes. But on the whole, pretty bad. So um, yeah. But what kind of pancakes do you have? Do you have like the crepes? you have like the american style pancakes you know like those thicker sort of smaller ones do you have them for just like a dessert or do you have them for dinner so when we grew up and i don't know whether this is is typical but you know when we grew up we would have like the crepe style pancakes and we'd have maybe like three pancakes you know each and that was our dinner we didn't have them for pudding um so yeah when i've said that to other people other people kind of say what we have them just for pudding so yeah i'm always a bit intrigued what other people really do and i know this sounds really strange thing i'm just going to get a fresh fresh wipe because that one's getting very messy um this sounds very strange thing to do but we would have our our crepe style you know pancakes with <laughs> yep wait for it fresh orange so, you know, like, say, Tropicana or something like that. Fresh orange. Or, hey, we'd even have squash. You know, there were times when we would have squash. Um, and sugar. They were lovely like that. So, instead of lemon juice, swap the lemon juice out for orange juice. Because, I mean, the lemon juice can be a little bit bitter, can't it? So, the orange juice, it's just a little bit sweeter. And, um, yeah, and to be honest, you know... Oftentimes, I think probably we had them like that because maybe, you know, my mum didn't have lemon juice and we did have squash in the cupboard. So maybe that's where that came from. But it stuck then and that was how we had them. And so then when I had my children, they also, we had, you know, crepe style with orange juice, um, which is weird, isn't it? Because again, nobody else seems to have that. So yeah, what do you all have on your pancakes? I mean, if, if you go on holiday, I always remember this was a long, long time ago. I think my oldest son, who's 21, I think he was about two, two, two and a half, quite young anyway at the time. And we were lucky enough to go to, you know, that hotel, um, it's called Atlantis and it's in the Bahamas. Now that had been like my fantasy holiday and my, you know, dream holiday nest and destination. Oh, I just heard Bo, she's obviously just jumped off of my bed. And just having a shake out in the hall so that was like my dream holiday destination and um yeah one year we were lucky enough to um go there you know we thought we would treat ourselves and we went there um just for a week and oh my goodness i have never seen such an amazing breakfast spread so they had well you name it they had it and um yeah they had a pancake station oh my goodness if you if you're like me with a sweet tooth wow yummy 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 the what they didn't have to put on those pancakes just wasn't worth <laughs> worth having i mean literally yeah 
cream, marshmallows, yogurts, uh, blueberries, you know, um, I think they maybe even had cherries, strawberries, you know, all different fruits. Um, oh, M&Ms, all sorts of stuff, you know, chocolate, um, what do you call those, like chocolate flake sprink sprinkle things. Um, hundreds and thousands, you know, but the chocolate type of hundreds and thousands, those types of things. I mean, you name it, they had it. Oh my goodness, I was like in breakfast heaven. It was amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So, um, and you know, like, it was one of those <laughs> breakfast experiences that I will probably remember that for the whole rest of my life because I was like, yeah, just so much in like, you know, like I said, breakfast heaven. It was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I don't recall the dinners, strangely enough. Um, I, mean, I do remember it was insanely expensive. Um, and we had made the mistake of not getting like a, what they call a meal plan. So I think we'd like gone bed and breakfast and, um, oh my goodness, our first night, the dinner was so incredibly expensive. So we pretty quickly, uh, you know, bought a meal plan, purchased a meal plan, so that we were like, you know, half bored where we got our dinner included. Because otherwise, I think we would have just starved for the week. It was so expensive. Um, but yeah, weirdly enough, I don't really remember what the what the dinner was like. It was the breakfast that just blew me away. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We were very unlucky when we went there. We didn't have very nice weather, and. Um, you know what it's like, a weather can, you know, the weather can just make or break a holiday, can't it? And yeah, we didn't have very good weather. And, um, you know, subsequently, it wasn't a brilliant holiday. And it was such a shame because, like I say, we'd wanted to go there, like, you know, the whole time, um, you know, that we've been together. So, yeah, it was a bit of a shame because um, when we did go there, obviously the weather not being great, it, yeah just turned out to not be a brilliant holiday so it was yeah disappointing disappointing but not the breakfast they had um what do you call it like a uh aquarium thing i think i think at the time it was something like the world's biggest the world's biggest i don't know like salt water aquarium or something like that i don't know um but yeah they had all these different like you know um like flumes and you know water slides and things like that and you kind of like went through tunnels where there was like baby sharks and things now i mean ironically i mean i don't really do water so i can barely swim and i you know wouldn't put my face underwater or anything like that so i mean actually it was all wasted on me because i didn't go on a single thing um other than the pool in fact i'm not even sure i went in a pool actually because like i say the weather wasn't very good but um you could walk through some bits as well and see like all these you know sharks and all of that kind of stuff so i mean i you know i did obviously get to see things but i didn't obviously go through like down the slides swimming past the sharks or anything like that so yeah a bit a bit wasted on me really but um yeah I, there is a um, Atlantis in Dubai now as well, on the Palm in Dubai. So, again, was lucky enough to go to Dubai. Um, I've actually been there a few times while we were married. And, um, yeah, we went to the Palm once, not like for, you know, for um, to stay or anything, but we went there like on a sort of afternoon, you know, you could do like an afternoon trip and just go to the like the aquarium i can't remember whether we could go swim in there as well i yeah i can't remember to be honest um but yeah anyway we went you know we went to the aquarium and things because by then we had my other son as well so he hadn't obviously been to the you know the atlantis in the bahamas so uh yeah we went there it didn't seem half as big as the one in the bahamas um but you know i mean who knows maybe it was you know, maybe I just couldn't remember or, you know, I don't know. It just, yeah, it didn't seem as big. But it could be that maybe we didn't get to see all of it because we went in as a day guest, you know. Or, like I say, maybe I just can't really remember, you know, what the other one was like to be able to compare it. But, um, yeah, very kind of lucky to be able to have been to those, you know, those places. So, I don't know how I got on to that topic of conversation now. 
no idea how I stumbled onto that conversation actually, but well, I think um, <laughs> that all stemmed from the breakfast, the pancakes, didn't it? From the, the pancake day, that's how that all came about. Yeah, anyway. Obviously the Bahamas from here, from the UK, that's a long way. Um, I think it was like, I don't know, a 10 hour flight or, you know, a long, long flight anyway. Um, I mean, obviously, I think at the time we had some friends who lived in Florida. They were from the UK here and they'd, they'd moved to Florida. Um, and yeah, I mean, they were lucky enough to obviously be just in Florida. And I think the flight from like Florida to the Bahamas was... Mm, I, please don't quote me on this, but I feel like it's about an hour and a half, two hours. Something very short anyway. So, I mean, how awesome is that, you know? So, yeah, obviously lots of you lovely ladies live in the States. And I'm not saying necessarily Florida, but, you know, and I realise obviously America is a huge place. So I guess if you're like down the other end, you know, on the, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the West Coast, I mean, I guess you're probably still, you know, quite a long way, maybe similar to us at the UK. And I guess you're quite close to like Hawaii, but yeah, anyway, I just was like, wow, imagine being that close to, um, you know, the Caribbean, that sounds incredible right so that's my pockets now i'm just going to show you so here i've just got this is um just some you know buff colored card i think it's actually maybe from a card making um you know pack but just to kind of show you so this has already got a hinge obviously where it was a card and just weirdly it happened to have already been cut down but you could glue this onto your pocket and then you could have then a little you know side tuck as well so you know and you could do this in matching paper you could do it you know like this in some craft colored cards you could do it on some coffee dyed paper you know all different ways that you could do this so you could get some really awesome looking you know different sort of looks going on and then of course once you've got things like this well this is not going to reach but you know for example you know you could tie it with some twine or something oops like that you know, or of course you could shut it with an, a um, paper clip and things. So there's quite a lot of different things that you can do with these pockets to, um, you know, make them more elaborate and more kind of uh, detailed and things like that. So we're going to decorate one up. So let's choose which one we want to decorate. So shall we decorate, shall we decorate one of these? I'm wondering whether we should decorate this one just because, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to decorate it with. Let me see. I've got some paper here, which is left over from, I think, maybe the mass making last week. Um, and so it's a thicker card. So I'm just kind of thinking, well, actually, what we could do is make some flaps to go onto a couple of these pockets. Now, I haven't coffee dyed this or anything like that. So, you know... In an ideal world, I would have probably coffee dyed this, but we will just go with this like that. Okay. So, right, let's move this. Oh, now I'm thinking this could actually go pretty nicely on quite a few of these, wouldn't it? I was thinking this, but actually, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Might have to have it on that. That looks awesome. That also looks quite nice. Oh, decisions, decisions. Loving it on this damask paper, I have to say. Quite like it on this roses paper, actually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. What a... F oh, my goodness. What a feast for the eyes that is. Right. Let's decide which one. Which one? Which one? Oh, can't decide. Yeah, it just looks really, really scrumptious, doesn't it? Hmm... Now, do we want to have it double or just because we could kind of like fold it here and then have it like, you know, folded in. Mm. Let me just try this. So sorry if you can hear Bo there. She's now just making her presence known. Uh, so if we had that like that. Oops. I've got glue now coming off my fingers onto the thing. Um, yeah, so you could have it like that, and then you've got a double, you know, double opening. 
like that. Oh, do you know, I'm going to have it on this one, actually. I mean, I did love it on that one, but I do really love it on this one. And actually, I'm not so keen on this side of the paper, I think, on here. Yeah, I just really love this. So I'm just going to cut this down. Like that. And again, I think we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, if ever you're putting anything like a little foldy flap, it's really great practice if you remember, and I don't always remember myself, but if you do remember to just mitre the corners because that just makes it a lot neater, you know, to, um, yeah, to have on so you don't see any kind of like edging or anything like that. So, oops, hold on. Like that. Okay, like that. Uh, we could round the corners, of course, on this. So let's do that. Maybe round the corners here. Like that, please. Oh, come on. Oh. Probably needs emptying my punch. So let's just need it like that. Right, okay. Get rid of those little bits. Now, obviously, like I say, in an ideal world, I would have um, coffee dyed this, but I haven't. So what I'll do is just quickly ink it up around. <clears throat> so it's just not stark white. You know, just because personally, I'm not keen on it looking stark white. But, you know, it's not essential. Like that. Okay, like that, and then, yeah, just ink around this side. Okay. Right, let's ink around here. Now, I've just got, oh, I'm just going to ink it. I was going to say I've got a bit of white showing there, but actually I'm just going to ink it and then it will be okay. Okie dokie. Right, so got this gorgeous little flap. So yeah, I mean this could go up either way, but let's have it like that. Okie dokie, that looks very pretty, doesn't it? So let's glue the flap down. Okay. Like that. Okay. Oh, I love how that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I've just got this blue lace. And I'm not saying this goes, but it just happened to be laying on the table. So I thought, oh, should we pick that up? I mean, weirdly, I, I think that does quite go. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh, you're probably sat there thinking, what is she talking about? That looks hideous. Right, now this, I'm just wondering whether I might be able to... Let's open this out. Yeah, I'm thinking perhaps we could actually cut this out. Right, let's just cut. Oh, what am I thinking? There's two circles. I mean, circles are just like my all-time worst thing to cut out. Again, this is from that large bird large large birdhouse papers. So, yeah, very pretty um, background papers, aren't they? Okay. Oh my goodness! Come on. Right, and then here now. Yeah, I th oh gosh, this is not going to be very easy to get to. Mm. Right, going to tear along here to the point of the circle. Okay, and then just cut, cut the circle down. Okay, right. Looking good like that, okay? Oh, that looks very pretty, doesn't it? So yeah, we could have something like that on there and then that just ties in the, you know, the purple color, doesn't it? So let's just ink this up. Okay. 
Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm just wondering. Uh, oh, do we want to have anything else? I mean, they're quite like this. I'm not sure I'm going to make a very good job of cutting that out, if I'm truthful. Oh, I don't think I'm going to, but let's give it a try, shall we? Oh my goodness, not very easy to cut this out. Mm. Let's do it like that, okay. Right, I don't know quite where I'm going to stop with this, so. Mm. Right, let's just tear this down. I just think sometimes if you tear things down, it kind of like overcomes the, you know, how do I finish this issue, doesn't it? So, I wonder if we could have it. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, this is not going to really work out quite how I thought. That's a shame. Uh, let me just tear this off. Let's just think there's that. Well, I'm not making a good job of this at all. So, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. It's a bit weird looking, isn't it? Could have it, I suppose, like that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That just looks strange, I think. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably not that. Oh, what a shame. Because now I've torn that paper and obviously I was wanting to hoard that and... Why I was wanting to hoard it is more of a question, but right, we've got some more of that paper from the large birdhouses, and there is a section here which is similar. So I'm just going to tear this out. We'll just see if we can have this somewhere. Somewhere on here. Mm. Come on. Oh, maybe under here. I'm not making a good job of this at all, am I? Yeah, maybe we could have it. Oh no, it needs to be like that. Right, let's tear this down so it actually does fit on here. Right, try that. Like that. Okay. Right, let's go for that because otherwise I'm going to be here all day and just think how boring. She's making another epic movie, but not with the epic. So, yeah. I wish I could see what, what the clock said because I've got this horrible feeling. I've done it again. Just made it really long. Okay, right. Let's quickly pop this down. Okay. Like that. I mean, that could have gone under here, I guess. Let me just. I mean, I have now got the glue there, which is a bit unfortunate, but. Well, do you know, I can't help but think I wish I had. I wish I had done that. Let me see if I can move this all up. Oh my goodness. Again, how not to craft this is. Yep. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. Right. Well, I've got lots of glue here, so I'm not doing. Not doing well at all. Right, covered up some of that glue, so this can go down here like that. Okay, just check that that yep, still folds in. Okay, oh my goodness, must have got some glue on here as well. Don't know what that was from, but anyway. So yeah, not done a very good job. Mm. I wonder if I could, could do something here with this. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we could have something like that, to be honest. Or we could have it like that. Right, let me just try some ivory lace down here. I know that I had said the blue, but just in case this would look better. I mean, it's definitely the safer choice, isn't it? 
I mean, it was just really that that blue was there and I thought, I'm just going to try that. And then I thought, mm, it does look quite nice. Oh, again, wishing I was live and I could hear you guys because, oh, I can't decide. Do I go for the brave choice or the safe choice? Right, just going to pull in a label. So these are my labels set to. Okay, I'll just take this label here. Because it looks pretty good colour-wise, doesn't it? So, yeah. Let's take this one. These are the size two to a page on those. So, yeah, let's take that one. Okay. Oh, dear. Come on. Right, let's put that in there. I'm just going to quickly ink up here. Oh, I've got that torn section now it looks rubbish oh gosh awful awful crafting let's go along like that okay didn't want to go over the bird's head but it was getting tricky right now do we think the ivory or do we think the blue can't help but actually think maybe i should go with the blue i mean that's definitely like a brave choice isn't it but do actually really like it so yeah now what do we think to this is this a yes or is this a no for this piece I think that's probably a yes actually yep okay put that one down there and then yeah let's just go straight down this edge with the blue lace which will cover up a little bit of where I had the glue as well, so that's you know quite good. Actually, I'm just going to trim this down. It's quite wide. So yeah, just get rid of that little edge. Okay. So yeah, I mean we've done a little bit of a twist on these this year. So you know by adding just that little flap, it's just given it a little bit of a different you know different twist hasn't it so that's always good fun to um you know change things around slightly oh i love how that looks that's so pretty and then you know we could even have a little bit of ivory lace or something down on this one yeah should we do that let's just cut that down there let's cut that to size now do we like the lace this way round or actually i think perhaps that way round so again, just pop, pop the glue. Oops. Okay. Oops. Like that. Okay. Looking good. Right. Now I'm just going to here cut that down like that. This one. Oh dear, right, like that. Okay, let me just take that one down at the bottom. Okay, looking good, isn't it? So very, very pretty. And then on here, should we just have a little butterfly on here as well? So yeah, let's just have a little butterfly. So these are my light um, butterflies. And yeah, I've got quite a few pretty green and blues. So I'm thinking, oh, that color, I think. So yeah, let's take one of these. And then I think, shall we add some twine or some ribbon or something like that to keep the flap closed? Because I think that would look quite pretty, wouldn't it? I mean, like I say, you could just use a paper clip. I mean, you wouldn't even need to use anything, to be honest. I mean, that flap's not going anywhere. It's, you know, once the journal was closed, you know, the flap itself would be closed. It's only kind of wanting to stay flapped open because obviously the, you know, the pockets just there. But yeah, I mean, once it was in the journal and it had been squished a couple of times, it wouldn't still be wanting to pop up if I'm truthful. Or we could have the butterfly here, which then just acts like a, a closure for that. So should we do that instead? Like that. Okay. And that's then holding that flap closed, which I just, I love it when you can kind of use 
butterflies and things for things like that. And then, do we want some bling? What have I done with my bling? Oh, here we go. Just got a tiny little bit of bling here. Just was floating about, so. Yeah, should we just put that on there? Could have had it on the butterfly, but let's have it on the lace. So, okie dokie. Okay, so how gorgeous is that pocket? So you've got your pocket in here. You've got obviously your flap here for journaling. Lots of pretty yumminess under there. Closes with the butterfly. And then obviously if you glued this down on three sides, you'd have a side loading pocket there. Or of course, glue it down on the other three and a side loading pocket there. So it's just so pretty, isn't it? So if I had a journal page which actually I have got a journal that I'm working on at the moment so let's just bring this in so this is how it would look on the page like that or you know on this page like that and then a pocket there and obviously you know that large pocket there so yeah I really hope that you like them we have done a lot of these so let's just have a quick count up okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen oh my goodness i must have been filming for hours so uh, yes i apologize again for the length of this but um yeah 19 so what a productive um you know time that we've had so I hope that you like them and um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you could um, give this video a thumbs up, maybe um, leave a comment in the chat below, that would be fantastic. And yeah, don't forget, um, obviously my series is running until Friday, so um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then.